What are the top foods to try in Key West, Florida? Find out next on Jaycation. All right, it's dinner time here and this is where the locals go. This is the Schooner Wharf Bar and we're gonna try some conch. It's almost like we're in Vegas. There's a Wahlburgers here now in Key West. This is Schooner Wharf Bar and we're gonna try their food here called Conk, which is a Key West specialty. I'm excited to try it for the first time and this is where a lot of the locals here in Key West go. All right, so we're here at the Schooner Wharf Bar and the Key Lime Colada, it's 10.50. I'll tell you everything that's in it. You got Blue Chair Bay Key Lime Rum and Blue Chair Bay Coconut Ooh, Rum with Key West. Culotta Mix and Lime Juice. Strawberry yeah, Mojito. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Enjoy, Cheers, have fun. Sloshed already. Sloshed. Wow, this is good. This is like a key lime pie, but in a pina colada. 1050. But you gotta take you gotta be careful with these. It's hot and humid here. If you don't mix in waters and take your time, you'll be sloshed just like that. So so far on this trip I've tried the Miami Vice, which is uh, strawberry margarita and pina colada. This is the key lime colada, and it definitely does have a limey tone to it, but it's still sweet like a pina colada with a coconut. It's the pina colada. Like pina colada. AK doesn't drink, so uh, I'm gonna be doing the drinking uh, for us too. And you got fish tacos. I did, yeah. But I'm from San Diego, man. No fish tacos for me, man. I gotta I try something else. Try. We're near the Caribbean, so I'm gonna try the Caribbean jerk chicken. Sure didn't want to try any fish tacos? No bueno. No mas. <laughs> Check this out, they even have a nice deck out here, up top. Should've just sat out here, but whatever, we're already set up down there, so it's all good. Got a little fresh air up here. All right, JK Shooters, so I went with the conch red chowder and the conch Key West conch fritters with uh, key lime mustard right here. And it also comes with a lemon, crackers as well. Man, we're doing everything Key West here, so let's try our red chowder, conch red chowder. Ooh. It's got like a minestrone-ish type taste, a little spice to it. I'm gonna dip all my crackers in this. That's what she said. <laughs> That's really good. Nice and hot. These are $8.95. This is more like a minestrone type red chowder, but it's tasty. Wow. I like it. Let's get the crackers up in here. Mmm. Yes, yeah, sure. Do it. Thumbs up. These are the Key West Conk Fritters. It comes with a key lime mustard. We're gonna put this on here, bro. Yeah. If I can. If I can get the lemon. <laughs> there we go. Lemon. This is the conch fritters with the key lime mustard. All right. Let's, let's try it out. Almost looks like a cordon bleu-ish. Mmm. Oh, it's got like a small spice to it. Like a red peppery taste. It's soft, not too crunchy. And that's like a limey, mustardy taste to it. Wow, this is very, very unique. This is super unique, man. You should try it out, AK. It's like a Key West ball of conch with <laughs> this. So you're asking, Jaycation, what are what is conch? Like you're always talking about conch here in Key West. Well, that's the name of the people that live here around the Key West area. But conch is actually a common name for a number of different medium to large size sea snails. Conch shells typically have a high spire and a noticeable siphonal canal. I almost said canal. In North America, a conch is identified as a queen conch indigenous to the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. There you go, there's your conch explanation via Google. The third and final conch for Jaycation. I'm gonna eat the rest of this uh, key lime mustard. I could eat these all day, these are tasty. Mm. This is like a, you know those potato balls in Porto? It's a Caribbean sea snail style version. It's like Caribbean escargot. Mm. This fish taco wrap was so good. I mean, it had a lot of flavor in it, it has onions, the salsa sauce really brings it to life. Excellent, excellent. Did it beat San Diego? No, San Diego is so much better. All right, Jake Asian, there's the main courses here. I got the jerk chicken sandwich. It comes with two chickens, some chipotle dressing. There's a pickle here, but you know me and pickles. And they have these uh, crispy, thicker fries. I'm gonna use the chipotle as a dip. 
Mmm, nice and crunchy. And of course, you guys know, I'll always use that hot sauce on the bag swag. I'm a Tabasco boy, so we're gonna put some Tabasco and heat this thing up. Man, two patties, I'm gonna be full AF. Let's try this out. Mm. Nice and juicy patties. The chipotle gets that Caribbean jerk chicken taste to it. That's tasty. This is the closest I've ever been to the Caribbean, so I had to try it because I love the Earl of Sandwich Caribbean jerk chicken. <laughs> so Schooner's Wharf Bar was amazing. I had to get a Go Cup with their Schooner's Vice, which is basically a Miami Vice pina colada and strawberry margarita. We're gonna walk up Duval Street, have a couple drinks, live stream with Action Kid, but I definitely recommend this. Whatever locals said to come here, you guys are right. The conch here is on point, baby. All right, on to the next spot. Oh, they, they made that strong, baby. So we are here at Kermit's Key Lime Pie Shop. They're known for all their different types of products with key lime. There's even ice cream, key lime popsicles, regular pie. We're gonna have to come back here tomorrow and try it out. I'm super full right now, so I can't, I can't do it. Look at this, you got your whole key lime pie. They got white chocolate dipped strawberry key lime pie on a stick, and they got regular chocolate key lime pie on a stick. AK was nice enough to let me have a little back end piece get that key lime creamy thin crust taste there in the back end it was really good I like it. I can see why people like Kermit I'm super full right now but I ended up getting the white chocolate dipped key lime pie on a stick so we're gonna have to pop this open and try it out as well white chocolate dipped key lime goodness mmm Oh wow, it's actually the pie with the cream in the inside. You can see the brown layer over there, and then you got the cream, and it's just dipped in white chocolate. Wow, this is tasty. Can't beat this, wow, it's very, very delectable. I like white chocolate too. Mmm, oh, I'm gonna kill this, no problem. I actually think this is better than the normal key lime pie. That's $5.50, this is only $4.95, wow. I'm happy. Right behind me is the Hard Rock Key West, and they promoted the Messi Burger all the way up to one. I'm a big Lionel Messi fan, huge PSG Barca fan. I gotta try that Messi Burger. I have to. Next spot to check out has thousands of amazing reviews on Yelp, and that is DJ's Clam Shack for their lobster roll. Guy Fieri sent me. Let's go. It was featured in Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives by Guy Fieri, and I just had to try their seafood here while I'm in Key West. I got the hot sauce. It looks like they have habanero, man. That looks super hot, but they also got Cholula. I'm just gonna try it out first. It's 26 bucks, but hey, you gotta try out their seafood. So we're gonna squirt the lemon. It also comes with a side of coleslaw. Nice bun. Let's just dab this habanero. Let's dab it. Let's do it on that side. How about that? Oh wow, nice buttery bun. That is money. Wow, this lobster and everything they have in it, the imitation crab meat, the, the scallions, it's just perfect. This is a perfect lobster. I love lobster rolls, especially when I'm on vacation, guys. Mm, the lemon also uh, really complements it well, but I'm feeling this habanero sauce. So there you go. I'm just gonna keep pounding this habanero sauce because it's money in the bank. Mm, I'm so happy I discovered this. I walked by it earlier and I was like, eh, maybe it's just a touristy spot. And then I looked on Yelp and it got like 2,000 plus reviews. I found out Triple D was here. You gotta try it out, man. I came back, it's right near my hotel. This is yummy. You gotta try out a lot of the seafood while you're here. Not just the conch, but the lobster. It's almost, it is pretty much lobster season here. It usually starts around August, which this, this video is August 8th. If you want spiny lobster and all that stuff, they have that here too. Not in this place, but all around the island. Absolutely smash that lobster roll. So good. Uh, not much of a coleslaw guy though. Lobster roll though, yes. AK over here wants to get some key lime pie, so let's do that. So Ken is hungry. We're going to this place called Moondog Key West. He said there's good key lime pie here. He tried it a week ago. Almost half. 
job we've done today is uh, so, so good, man. It's what Key West is made, known for. How many times have you made it at this place? Three. It's my third time. So we were supposed to go to that place, Fritas, down the street, but they're closed Monday and Tuesday here in Key West. So we found another place called Key West Cuban Coffee. They're also a cheap eat spot and Cuban food. So let's try it out for the next cheap eats here in Key West. AK needs some food. I want some empanadas. Try a little bit of this Cuban food here. Excited to try it out. It's a few blocks off Duval Street. We took our scooters here to try out some Cuban food. So I got the cafe con leche. Now the Cuban coffees, they're super strong and you can get those as shots. Cafe con leche, that's, that's my style. Ooh, it's still strong. It's really good. That's a super strong coffee. So I got the Ropa Vieja lunch meal. Comes with rice, beans, the Ropa Vieja, which is shredded beef and sweet plantains. But there's a lot going on in this Cuban dish. Is the Ropa Vieja. You can see the strands of beef just coming off my fork like that. And they also have like a potato in here and I think I see some scallion maybe or celery. Oh wow. Mm. This is so savory. Fills your mouth with goodness. The amount of flavors going on here. And these sweet plantains, basically a sweet like banana, type of banana. No, Yeah, plantains are on point. It is so good. Mm. And with these beans, you want to put them on the rice before you eat them, not a uh, have the beans separately, that's how it's supposed to be eaten. Mm, really good beans. So I got the empanada. I already ate that big lobster roll earlier. I figured, you know, we're getting Cuban food. Let's try out their empanada with the chorizo and it's made out of scratch. And you also got a salsa verde, it looks like. It looks really tasty. Let's bust out the knife. Cut it in half here so you can open it up. You guys can see the beauty. Look at that heat that just came out. Wow, wow, wow. But it's still piping hot. You can still see the heat coming out of it. The sweetness of the chorizo, the spice of the salsa verde, the crispiness of it, wow. This is a very unique and tasty empanada. I don't usually see this back home in San Diego. You know, since we're only 90, plus miles from Cuba. Here you go. Trying out these empanadas are amazing here. That's in for the win right there. This is amazing. Along with the strong cafe con leche, it's gonna get me going throughout the day. Right behind me is Smoothie Bay. It's here on Duval Street. It looks like a really healthy spot where you can get fruit smoothies and a bunch of like good ice cream, but you can also get a whole pineapple, a whole ass pineapple with a pina colada in it. And you know me, I like pina colada. So let's go. This place actually only sells the non-alcoholic ones with pina colada non-alcoholic smoothies, but two blocks down, she told me, that's where you get them. So we're gonna go to the juice bar right near my hotel and try that. So we got the whole pineapple drink, $17. I went with the Miami Vice, which is half pina colada, half strawberry margarita, has an umbrella and a bunch of the pineapple slices and refills are only like five bucks. Let's dig into this. <laughs> you can get it with alcohol or no alcohol. I got it with, of course. You guys know me. Yum, yum. Give me more of this. Yes, sir. Let's try to fruit it out, too. Let's see how good it is. Dip it in the Miami Vice. That's what's up. You gotta try out this pineapple. Mmm. The next place we're trying out is the Conk Republic Seafood Company here off of the harbor area. It is packed. It's a 30 minute wait right now, around seven o'clock at night on a Tuesday. We're gonna have a little more seafood. And if you guys are liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it to our YouTube. Subscribe to Jcation. We're almost to 100K. We're trying to sprint there for 2023. Let's see if we can make it happen. And 
check out Action Kid's channel. He does a lot of great live streams all around the US and maybe even the world one of these days. Starting off with the conch chowder. We had it over at the place across the way here. Mm, just as good. It reminds me of minestrone, but with conch in it. Really, really good, man. I mean, definitely has that snail texture to it. You can feel the bounciness. Really, really good. I mean, it's a hearty tomato soup with conch in it. Excellent. I got the fresh lobster tail. They catch it right off of Key West here. They even show me their lobster boat that they use to catch this lobster tail. And this has to be one of the biggest lobster tails I've ever seen. This lobster is only over here in the Caribbean. Many people, when they think of lobster, they think of the main lobster. But this thing looks meaty. It also comes with uh, string beans and rice. And it's 37 bucks. Let's give this a try, man. And uh, it has the melted butter too. Just gonna try a little bit here. That's some meaty lobster. I cannot pull this out. It's easier to cut it. Key West Caribbean lobster. This is fresh. Way different than main lobster. Main lobster, I feel like a little bit meaty this one is a slightly more sweet uh, meat but really good excellent excellent lobster Let's try some rice and some rice is good too mm. I feel like they put a little bit extra oomph in it I don't know what they season it with green beans perfect complement to this lobster tail dish so the waiter recommended that I try the Caribbean mojito because they have better rum in it and that's what they're known for over here is their mojitos oh, that's strong that go get me on my live stream man my live stream is gonna be lit after this I got the mahi mahi. I had it pan seared. They have it as a sandwich. I put the garlic hot sauce. They have a Conquer Republic garlic hot sauce right here. And they give you a big fillet. I put the tartar sauce on there. We're gonna dig in. Oh yeah, that is some fresh fish right there, guys. I'm definitely feeling that mahi mahi. Got some fries too. Mm. Guys, they're Fire Coral Triple X Hot Sauce. No joke. Oh my god. This is a top breakfast spot on Key West and it's called Blue Heaven. Now it's almost like a facility because across the street they have live music, ping pong tables, Andy's Cabana, and then over here is another Blue Heaven sign and all the buildings are different shades of blue. They're highly ranked in their breakfast so I had to get my hotel coffee but we're gonna try out some breakfast here. So let's go check it out. We went with the blueberry pancakes. I have to eat light because I want to try a Cuban sandwich down the street. You guys know how weak I am when it comes to portions. And we're leaving Key West, so I'm trying to get this food video done for y'all. Let's butter it up. Y'all know I'm heavy with the syrup. If you've watched Jaycation before. Alright, we're ready to go guys. Let's try it out. Blueberry pancakes from Blue Heaven and then some fresh squeezed Florida orange juice. Love the pulp in this. Can't beat that Florida orange juice, guys. You get the blueberry goodness in the in the middle. Let's try it out. Nice and fluffy, sweet blueberries. All about that syrup. Yum. They also have eggs Benedict here, and they serve lobster and steak eggs Benedict and Key West shrimp. That looks like good options as well. This place is huge. You can actually grab this table, wait a few minutes to get a table but they also have a bar where you can just walk right up to and sit. Now they advertise lunch in the shade and breakfast with the roosters. If you're here early, the roosters are roaming around. That was good, definitely thumbs up. AK graciously said, grab a bite because it's so big of a key lime pie. So grab some of this merengue. There's a lot of different textures to this. You got the soft, cream, you got the gelatinous, and you got the graham cracker crunch. 
I love it, man. The graham cracker. That's some good key lime pie right there. That's that thick thick. What a name of a Vietnamese restaurant though. Awesome. In this patio over here at Fritas. Unfortunately, we're not gonna eat here, but look, they have a Cuban cigar holder as a napkin holder. And then I love this hole in the wall decoration here, right next to Fritas Cuban burgers, cart, and everything else over here. Really cool patio to eat in. Cuban sandwich from Fritas here in Key West. Nice, pressed, panini it looks like wow it's nice and messy you got the melted cheese look at this you got the different meats you got pork you got ham you got the pickles the mayo let's check it out mm. Ooh, the pickles go perfect with this and I'm not a pickle person but wow this is what a Cuban sandwich tastes like this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to Cuba wow I think they use manchego cheese too there's a mustard as well. That is a fantastic end to my Key West trip. Mm. So amazing. You guys try this out. Wow. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out this one from Miami. We check out the best spots to eat around there. We'll see you over in the next one. And in the words of me, stay traveling, vacationers. Uh -huh.